I'm a science and tech journalist and my background is in cancer research and today I want to tell you a few things about breast cancer that you might not know. Number one is this. This is known as dense breast tissue and 50% of women have dense breasts without actually knowing about it. It's not a problem until you need to get screened for breast cancer at which point it can interfere with how doctors can assess whether you have breast cancer or not. Here you see the four different types of density from lowest to highest and how dense breast tissue appears almost identical in the mammogram as actual cancers. Unfortunately, this is not something that you can determine yourself. Number two is that there's many different types of breast cancer. Your breast tissue is made up of different types of tissues and different types of cells. By far the most common type of cancer is something known as an IDC, invasive ductal carcinoma. And it's a cancer that starts with the cells that are lining your milk duct. This is not to be confused with stages of cancer, which measure how invasive it is, but it's actually a different type of cell that is affected altogether. Lastly, your geography plays a huge role in your breast cancer risk, with Western countries having some of the highest incidence rates. So what are the risk factors? Nulliparity or having no children, advanced age at first birth, and late menopause are all thought to be the main contributing factors to why women in the West seem to be getting more breast cancers. The main hypothesis there being that the longer the breast tissue is exposed to estrogen, the higher the chance of developing breast cancer. However, the most concerning thing to me is how a recent meta-analysis, which are studies that are essentially looking at previous studies, found that up to 4% of all breast cancers are linked directly to excessive alcohol consumption. On the other hand, some of the protective factors for breast cancer is breastfeeding. Findings of a recent study showed that for every 12 months of breastfeeding, there's a decrease in breast cancer risk by 